We're going to read out of the Bible today. It is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 9, and we're going to read verses 22 and 23. When I am with people whose faith is weak, I live as they do to win them. I do everything I can to win everyone I possibly can. I do all this for the good news because I want to share in its blessings. Christianity is irrelevant to modern life. That is, uh, wow, that's almost hard to believe that people still say that. And maybe they say that because they've never been introduced to uh, a contemporary style church, but there, there's way more to the relevance of Christianity than gospel than just contemporary style churches. Certainly, this church, founded as the original contemporary church in central Virginia, a part of a movement that has radically changed our entire country and world. I have spoken in contemporary churches in Europe. It's not as if we're the only place that has them, America. And I can tell you that relevance has been at the very forefront of the whole movement. The relevance of taking a timeless message and presenting it in a timely way. The message has never changed. The methodology has been changing. It's always been changing. It isn't brand new. Charles Wesley was writing what are now known as the hymns of the church using bar tunes, tunes that were played in bars and giving them new words. So it's not as if this movement to be relevant is anything new to the 20th or 21st century. The reality is is that everything that I've seen and experienced shows how relevant Christianity is to the modern world, to modernity, to the modern life, however it is you want to talk about it. The fact of the matter is, if you go back to the scripture that we just read, Paul says, I'm going to do everything I can to win everyone I possibly can, and I do all this for the good news, for the gospel. Paul says, I'll do whatever's necessary to reach as many people as possible. And that's the relevance of Christianity. We are willing to present a message however it is best received. So the music we just heard, it uses rap music because rap music is one of the most current and modern forms and popular forms of musical expression today. If I thought that pipe organs were hot, we'd have a pipe organ. But I don't think they are. So we're going to do what's necessary, and the church has always been doing that in greater and lesser ways, in more effective and less effective ways. But friends, listen, the growth of the church is just phenomenal. The relevance of Christianity today. I know that if you listen to a few loudmouths, you'll think that somehow atheism is growing or the church is diminishing. And let me just clarify a few things. Churches that refuse to be more relevant are dying. That's true. Churches that stress relevance are growing, and the impact is increasing. So you have to read through the statistics and the research. Fortunately, I know I'm able to do that, and I'm sure a lot of people are as well. You can't just cherry pick the facts that you want to make your case. The reality is this. The relevance of Christianity and the church is as powerful and real as ever. You can hardly look on the New York Times bestseller list at any week and not see some book, including a book right now, that is faith-based or faith-oriented. The impact of Christianity is incredible. The biggest-selling hardcover book of all time, of course, short of the Bible— Nonfiction book is The Purpose Driven Life, which was written by Pastor Rick Warren, who pastors a contemporary Christian church in Southern California. So, the facts are the facts. The evidence is the evidence. But there's far more to it than that. At the heart of it, here's why Christianity is so relevant to the modern world. First of all, Christianity addresses real life needs. 
real life needs. Christianity speaks to every need you can think of. Every subject, work, finances, relationships, health, sex, success. You name a subject that's important to people. You name something out of which needs arise, Christianity addresses it. I have spoken on every single one of those subjects that I've just mentioned. Repeatedly. Repeatedly. There is nothing that people are interested in that the Bible doesn't speak to and that the Christian faith doesn't have marvelous wisdom to present. I have started New Year's messages going over simply the top. The top resolutions are all resolutions that people have that are directly related to subjects and themes that the Bible talks about. I would just ask you this. Where can you go week after week, year after year, and hear about topics that speak to real life needs that are taking place in people's lives every day? I know of no other place except the local church. You can go to a seminar over here. You can read a book over here. But where can you go consistently and repeatedly and hear it time and time and time and time again? Church.